All right. We'll get stuck into some arena, and then I think we'll do some overworld, and then maybe back to arena. We'll see how we go. We'll try, hopefully try out some interesting teams. Uh, we'll start off with... What have we got here? We'll try Steam again. I don't... not convinced it's that great, but... We can switch to something else. After. And if the queue's too long, then we can just switch to Overworld a bit earlier. Just let the queue run, I think. We'll give it to like two or three minutes, I think, and then we'll just play Overworld. Uh, oh, there we go. Got a game. Probably... Oh, it has to be Berserker, right? Berserker Verdant. Where's the volume? I think physical resistance might be. Yeah. Three water, four regs. I think that's could open it a bit. I think I'll just leave this augment for now. Could just make the Umbra more tanky. Yeah, we'll do that. Boy, oh, yeah. what's up, man? Thanks for tuning in again. We'll, we'll end up playing some Overworld pretty soon, I think, so if you're still around then. I appreciate all those tips again. Nice. 
More damage to shields. It doesn't look like he has any shields. Execute and attack damage. Strike Predator's Pounce. Just for... Because it's... Could be pretty fun to see. Grab Steam. Could get Slayer. It will go Slayer. Is there a way to modify the delay on the stream on the fly when you get. No, it's already on normal. So, what have I got it on? Yeah, it's on normal latency. So. I think that's the best. It's not like a big delay at all. But it's... If you put it on like super low delay, I think the quality goes down. So it's more just a, a slight delay and then obviously a slight delay in me seeing, seeing it, so... And I haven't tested the ultra low delay, but... I feel like that would reduce the quality. Given my internet's um, it's good, but it's not like anything special. Oh, that steals. Maybe I should have got that. Wasn't really paying attention. Oh, but this is going to be good for the jewel of. Two ascent tokens. I can't quite get to the third steam. Pretty sure. Oh, I've got. I can sell that, kind of. Perfect. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Well, hopefully, I won't need too many more tips. I think you probably got me covered last time. Worked out how to use the items. So the the items that you harvested, the plants, you got to use before you jump into the run. I work that out, so... Fire out. It's a lot of Omega Power. 400. 500. <laughs> I don't really need the energy resist. One for sure. Last the logo usually is. I don't really need for rogue. Is it possible to get to seven water? No, it's not. Grab the third slayer. 
so what's there? 85% attack speed, uh, crit chance. I think this is better than the fourth rogue. The Dorias will end up tanking a little bit for the jeweler. Might make the difference. Oh, I forgot to place more augment, didn't I? Look, that only triggered once. I wonder if it's kind of bugged or just maybe it's as intended. Same as the one that reduces the mega power. It seems to only trigger once. On crit, gain a mega power. Let's just see how high we can get dual of the mega power. I should have checked then. Need the undo button. That's not the worst thing though. What do you think the best region to explore is? Like what has the most interesting alluvials? I've been going towards um, Enchanter. I've got an Enchanter team now. It's working a lot better. Enchanter Air. And I've got three Dokers. Or whatever their stage two Kukaraf is. Not Doker, sorry. Kukaraf. I think this is pretty good. Oh, he hasn't got a weapon on the ranger. There we go. Three toxic. Three berserker. He's already at 220. This really isn't doing much. Oh, just which was the most interesting region, has the most interesting alluvials. I don't know if that's even a... a thing, but... Uh... That time is really quick. Let's go to the two furthest enemies, so it's still going to interrupt the Jolof. Not sure this will make a difference. But... Depends what a loop is you're after, yeah. 
Yeah, I like bright lamps. Yeah, do you know if they're um they're only releasing one like come open beta? Well, I don't know about open beta. Yeah, probably open beta. Once the game's released, are they only having one region at a time? Are they gonna slow release them or have like three out? Obviously they're gonna not have them all out at once, but oh, that would have killed the ranger. Wow, my Titan Lord's done the most damage. Yeah, I don't know about Steam. Let's try and try and Vaker. Yeah, so I'm thinking the three we have now is ready. But I wonder even if they're ready, they'll intentionally withhold some regions, like slow release them. Uh, untargetable, gain energy. Oh, that's perfect, isn't it? Playing Invoker on it. Like, I wonder if they want to, yeah, have those updates that the excitement of new regions coming out every X amount of months rather than um, all at once. What have I done here? I think we're going... Does that give us shock and in shock invoker? Maybe something like that. Only one region to be unlocked at launch, and the community needs to unlock the next region somehow. Oh wow, okay. Maybe it's tied to the their bonding curve or whatever. Once X amount of percent of alluvials are caught or something, it unlocks. Or like, maybe it's tied to the quests or something. But I'd be a fan of that. As much as I'd want access to all three. Pretty much, you have to go to Pierce. What am I playing? Same opponent, fighter. Mm 
Listen, bug. I don't know if that's. Three water. I think we go towards. Scarabog next. Here we go, tanky. Yeah, along the lines of lore or community puzzle of some kind, yeah. Yeah, I wonder if that's just an idea or something they're actually going to do. I hope the lore's good. I know Kieran's kind of hyped it up quite a lot, but... Sometimes that way, if something's too hyped up and then it's... Yeah, the ex expectation's too high. Like a good movie when you... I, I kind of hate when someone tells me the movie's amazing. Rather not have my expectations too high. Steel energy for sure. I think this will be... Pretty OP for me. It took Slayer. I think he's just trying to deny that. I think that was a mistake by him. I don't know if upgrading that is worth it just yet, but. Go ahead, Mega Rafisto. Further as ally gains would be ten energy regen total and a hundred Omega power, it's huge. Got the three ball walk. Agreed. Especially lore is just so important to a game. I always get sold on lore. Like good trailer would like good lore. Like I'm glad they're focusing on it. Ah, nice play. Maybe he wasn't trying to deny Slayer. He was trying to get it for himself. I think these augments he's giving me are just way too strong. Crit, a team shield. A granite. Go towards. Let's just grab five water for now. Maybe I can switch to Mystic later. Like this is going to be really rough for him. I don't see how he can win with that team comp. A 
Timmy's commercial. <laughs> I don't even know what Timmy's is. Sounds like a food. Okay, I need to move in. Nearly got up to 500 mega power already though. Do you not use ad blocker? Or do you feel bad using ad blocker? Um, gain energy for sure. Coffee place, like a coffee chain, like a um. Starbucks kind of thing. If I could fit him there. Grab steam. He can live longer and have this trigger. He was almost up to 500 to mega power like super early on in the game. Not my ranger. As long as the fisto lives. A lot of damage. Five thirty. To 600. Nice. <laughs> Still not doing a lot to his tanks. 11k damage. Oh. I feel like he will struggle to even get this on me. Unless he's sells his. Um. Rye plants and re replaces augments on him. Yeah. I just stack one side. I mean, I could just do a full swap because I don't think he's swapping. But I'm healthy enough to just stay this side. Currently shock. Enchanter.
Hopefully he still targets Atlas. Damn. Annoying. Physical pierce, none of this is any good for us. Got the shield. It's a little bit scary here if they're just gonna destroy everything there. At least if he, if he does swap sides, he'd um, probably hit the guys, and if he hits the ranger, that's okay. He'll hit the guys a second. Good move by him. Let's see what happens. Yeah, he's hitting the guy though. The Ranger. And he wins. Does he? No. Yeah, got all his carries. Nice. Yeah, the Fisto just destroyed everything. Seven hundred. Eight fifty. That was way closer than I thought. Let's see if he can beat this one. It should be a bit more fun of a matchup for him. If he queues again. So might just do this one and then jump into Overworld. Give it like a minute or two. So were those Samsung TVs, was that, to me it looked like the product was, let's have a look, was it only like a German product to start with? The TX1 project. It's 
powered by Polygon. Some of the smart TVs. Yeah, the TV bundle, smart TV, ledger wallet, NFT, and NFT TV app. But it's Samsung Deutschland. Hey Aaron, how are you? Um, yeah, I don't know if that means it's only the Samsung Germany. Maybe it's just starting there. We'll give it to three minutes, then we'll jump into Overworld. You're listening to Wilder World Space. We talked about the Samsung partnership. Seems they are, they have some things planned that will come out soon. Yeah. What it looks like, some kind of um, ledger NFT combo thing. It seems very legitimate. There's lots of lots of good partners. Dominable for sure. I mean, the obvious one is just the game because so many games that they partnered with, as well as um, an NFT collection. But it seems pretty obvious that it w it'll be just the Samsung Gaming Hub or whatever it is. Alright, Robbie, what are you playing? Lots of fighters. That's be interesting. Oh, I'm an idiot. Don't have a send tokens, obviously. I leave that for Scar uh, for Scoriox. What's up, Judo? Uh, nah, I haven't faced any Revenant comps. I think because this account's so low rating that it seems like a lot of people are just playing random stuff for fun. But with low sample size, I've only, I haven't been playing a lot, I've only really done these games over the last couple of days. Still energy, grit resolve, untargetable. Oh man. Um, how do you have time to stream in the middle of the day? I'm not working today, that's how. I'm working tomorrow. Yeah, I work weekend. I work Saturday and not Friday. Is that magma? That gives us magma. Yeah. Maybe I'll put indomitable here. Untargetable. Yeah. Three ball walk. I'm not hundred percent sure what I'm working towards. I really want Behemoth, don't I? Probably could have got Behemoth this round like him. So 
he's gone Magma Behemoth, but he's got Chill instead. Well, I'm from Australia, Bio. Bio. I'm guessing he is too. Unless he just... Just knows the time of day, not recognises my accent. Where are you from, Aaron? I know Bio is from Can Canada. Oh, Mega Power. I think Frost and Dodge would be nice. Feels like... <laughs> Actually, it does. Scoriox. Yeah, heaps. Even, um... TSG's from Perth as well. From where I live. But he lives in China. Oh, you're from West Coast as well, Aaron. Yeah, so am I. So is, so is Jag. So is TSG. All from WA. Not that I've met any of them, but just coincidence. But I think because Alluvium's Australian, obviously. May as well have him further out, right, for Magma. Get one more nature ball walk. Yeah, we'll have to meet up when I over hit six six K. <laughs> Maybe 6k Australian dollars. Well, I just got shit on. And I got stunned. Because he got three fighter instead. Probably better aug augments here as well. Uh, what was this? Yeah, Livium. They're all from Sydney. Same with IMX. It's just weird that it's kind of cool that Australia is not leading the way, but like relevant in crypto. Immune for two seconds might actually be pretty nice. Let's gain the attack speed on takedown. If we need more damage. Should give us. Why don't I have a Apon? I need an Apon. I've messed this up. I don't have it in my team. So an Apon here would be perfect. Give me Mystic and 3 Earth. I can't even get to 3 Earth. What a mess. Why have I even got this here? Big question, north or south? Uh, north, but I might be moving south. My girlfriend's... Um, south. She works south as well. So, fortunately I might have to suck it up. Yeah. 
Ooh, maybe. Big stun. I didn't hit, didn't clip the Scoriox. If I can get these kills, that'll be attack speed. Oh, he just got the heal off. Yeah, I think his version's better. He's got the fighters. Are you north or south? Depends how south you go. Uh, just healing. Thorns, maybe? I don't know, maybe... What happened? The timer ran out. Fuck. Damn it. Uh... Maybe this will be the difference. Getting... things around. I've not been paying attention at all, but Maybe if I can snipe out a bunch of these fighters here, that'd be the difference. And my ranger's got weapons. Big stun. Nice. Died through untargetable. Damn. I think if I had to move my Scoriox over, maybe we should have got rid of the armor on the Ranger and moved him instead. But whatever. North, north, south, Geraldton, I call it. I'll see you way north. JK, what's up? Uh, south south doesn't get snowy. Although, I don't know, maybe there's, maybe one of the tallest mountains sometimes gets a tiny bit of snow, but it gets colder and wetter, but definitely not snow. Well, not in WA anyway. Play one game of Vanguard, I know I said to play Overworld next, but play one game of Vanguard and then we'll go Overworld. No, I've never seen snow. I grew up surfing, so all my holidays and travels have been, I guess, chasing waves, not, not snow. I've seen you stream since, I'm guessing you meant haven't streamed since the new game mode. Yeah, I've streamed it a couple of times, but just not. It's been a few, couple of weeks there where I didn't. You haven't played the new mode yet. It's better, I'd say, for sure. It's just lacking motivation because the rewards stopped and um, the leaderboard's going to reset, so. It's always, no matter how fun something is, if your progress is going to get wiped or whatever. It's always less motivating. What team did I pick? Okay, that one. Attack speed on takedown.
or very outskirts of Perth, so like, what, like Lancelin or not that far? Yanship. Um, Slapping. Laura. Take down and gain attack speed here. If I remember correctly, I think I bombed my Ranger to the nature tank. I want to get back into the game, but have not made the that transition yet. Yeah. I think you're probably similar to a lot of people. Just waiting. Super keen, but just kind of waiting. Yeah, good for yeah. WA is good for mountain biking. And snowboarding's. Yeah, I don't know how to argue. You know whether I'd rather grow up somewhere snowboarding or surfing. No, there's still mirror matches, JK, but. You can see the augments, like he has something different. So the augments are free and you pick them every round. So that changed things up a lot. So even a mirror uh, should be a little bit more interesting. And. But yeah, they, they haven't been focusing on balance either, so it's hard to know. Um, like how things will feel exactly when potentially things aren't balanced 100%. But I think everyone agrees overall it's better. And the mirrors, yeah, the mirrors are a bit more interesting. But then you obviously get people complain about they got better augments, so it's I think um, definitely takes a bit more adapting. Do that, eh? Put attack speed on his Scarabot. Yeah, exactly. There's people more willing to try different stuff because they're not competing for leaderboard rewards. Can't make everyone happy, yeah, no, that's the thing. We're, we're either complaining about mirrors, and then if there's not mirrors, we're complaining about it's, it's a coin flip, depending on what team you pick. And then if you can fit multiple teams... Uh, what do I want here? Reduce attack speed. And then they, you know, if you can fit multiple teams within one team, so you have options to counter who you play against, and people complain about it's a coin flip. Just picking what team. Like, you have to wait for them to pick. I don't know, as always. I generally just prefer to play. Just whatever the developers... Just adapt to whatever the game is. I don't... Try not to... Obviously, I try to give feedback, but I also... Uh, I guess constantly just nitpicking... On improvements can be... Can ruin the fun, and sometimes it's better just to play... Whatever you, uh, I guess, whatever you've been given. I'm lost here with what I'm building. But I'm also a little bit too, I don't know, I'm always, I find myself always just thinking, I've liked every version of the game, which is... My biggest complaint is I just don't think It's too much of a team builder. I guess that's what I was most exhausted about. I was exhausted 
by the time leaderboards rewards stopped, I kind of was almost a bit exhausted of just chasing the next, the next best team. And that's how I've done so well on the leaderboards, is because I always had, I guess, one step ahead of the meta. But that's what it kind of felt like, is just chasing the team builder. Um, so I'm a fan of the change of moving towards more TFT, the, the eight player free for all with less team builder. But that's that makes it just the next problem is how do they integrate NFTs? Like needing the NFTs from Overworld without a team builder. It's not an easy problem to solve. Attack speed on takedown. Still feeling positive the game can gain traction with gamers. Yeah, for sure. No, I, I mean at this rating I'm playing different different players. Feels like it. Looks right, doesn't it? Yeah, it's hard to judge a game off um, in a beta because some play a lot of people just see the word beta and they think I'll just wait or if they don't even bother playing. It also depends what do you think success is like. I don't know if Web3 needs as many like, mass adoption necessarily. Or well, the way this is monetized, like it doesn't necessarily need. You see mass adoption would be ideal, but I was trying to say is I think it can be successful even without mass adoption in terms of yeah, mass, ado mass adoption will just be a bonus. All right, let's let's play Overworld. Look, I think of Gala. They've had massive massive success, and they haven't like they've made shit tons of money, but they haven't had anything close to mass adoption. I think, uh, what have we got? Level 12. This guy's really good. Level 14. So I'm just going to level these and try get Stage three. Try to catch something decent. Resources. And I think it's in equipment. It's going to be these ones, isn't it? Gain XP. Let's just start using these. How do I use them? I swear I just dragged. Oh, there we go. So this will be an XP boost on the first combat we have. Nice. Go bright lands. Stage two. Oh, 
Uh, you still play many of the same players? Um, I think I already answered that. Yeah, that rating. There's heaps of different players. But a lot of the, the, the... Most of the players are waiting for the updates and stuff. But they all like the new game mode, but yeah, like I said, the progress getting wiped is pretty demotivating. Just kind of waiting for updates, and I think most people think it's not balanced at the moment. Or at least balancing not being a priority. Followed you on Twitter yesterday. What was your name? No, you can't hunt on... You can't um, hunt alluvials at the moment, JK. That'll be on the test net and open beta pretty soon. Straight ahead. Go fight this one and then look for a bubble and get the high ground. Gotcha. Oh yeah, Drac. Yeah, Drac, were you give I think you were giving um you were doing some chart analysis on Alluvium, I think, from memory. Let's leave that. Yeah, four days till pre-registration. What do I make of the Sam Samsung partnership? I think it's huge, especially given that a lot of other, like Wilder World and um, it's partnered Polygon are the, um, I guess the, what do you call it? I guess they're behind the, the Web3 stuff. They're using their infrastructure. Um, and other partners, so it's really... There's like a, I guess, a squad of partnerships that Samsung have chosen, and they're all really good. I always think that's like more powerful than if it was just Alluvium. Just all the partnerships with um, Alluvium, it's just uh, so many that wouldn't, that have obviously done, you know, from the VCs to the partnerships they've all done, obviously had to have done. A lot of research. Shows a lot of faith. And this is perfect for Samsung gaming, like the, being on a big screen. So I'm saying, even if the partnership doesn't bring in... Like at a minimum, it shows a lot of confidence. so far. But yeah, I was saying before that the um, partnership, it seems like it's just launching in... Well, they have that bundle, the TV bundle, with Ledger. But it's only... It seemed like it was only the Samsung Germany, Deutschland, that was doing it. Do 
Do I want a, a Joel? Energy. I feel like I'm wasting a lot of energy just scanning all these. Maybe I should just fight them. Yeah, it's actually impressive how either well connected they are or just how good they are at uh, finding these connections. Okay, we'll catch that monkey. Up. We'll try to catch the monkey. Up. Yeah, I almost thought it was something to do with. Uh, VR. Because I know Grant had always talked about VR. I mean, it sounds like it might lead into that, but that's not what it will be from the start. I think it's a good partnership for Samsung, if they're trying to... I mean, there's probably a lot of Web3 people that'll buy that TV. Pure damage. Heal on damage. Heal per second. Energy resist. Lower tiers, it's easier to catch the higher stage than train to fit. Yeah, I know, that's what I'm finding. I shall not be defeated. Which I don't know if that's a. a I think that. Is that something they're trying to change? Because the more I've played, the more I've realised. Well, not. I don't know if realised or just. It feels like I should just catch the, the stage two or three. Just worth waiting. Because there's no advantage to leveling stage 1, is there? Like, you don't end up with a stronger alluvial. Well, you might, I guess, if you have the really well-optimized stage 1s. The Prime Token took off because of their AI game. Yeah, I suppose what would... I don't know, what dictates like it being an AI game? Like, what part of it is? Because NPCs are technically like, I guess, kind of AI. Yeah, that's the one I was thinking of, World of Woman. In partnership. They're massive, aren't they? He was level 9 as well. It's pretty strong. I think I've got two of them now. I saw that, Boyo. I think that makes sense. Be able to grind XP quicker or easier. It seems okay up until you start to get like ten level ten plus and it's, it feels like nothing. Leveling to stage three seems huge. Like having to level three stage two to be able to fuse to stage three seems um like a huge grind. Laggy. Gotcha.
Mm. I don't think I need a Vimilia. Or the monkey or the gorilla. I'll just keep scanning and I can always come back and grab these if I need to. So these bith bismuths have a higher chance of shards, right? The yellow ones. It's my understanding. Got it. You were trying hard to yeah, level the Furyx. To get to a Skorox would take so long. Tell me I left her to teleport, didn't I? Yeah, nice. Then you had the reset, then didn't go hard since, yeah. That's the thing, and I... I guess I've started this grind a little bit later. And I know it's resetting. So I'm not bothering... I kind of want to just catch everything and... Eventually catch everything, but... Seems like a bit much. But the limited time I'll have. This is the other thing with the Kuku, uh, Kukulus. I could have three of them and they all have Enchanter. If I upgrade to the stage three, I'll be left with one Enchanter. So I almost want to catch an, a fourth stage two. Yeah, let's try catch him. Stage three. Wait, so the green is the higher shards? Okay. So Here we go. Let's just see. I had a screenshot of. Did they change it? Oh, I'm misinterpreting the chart that I was going off. It had one, yeah, so green is one shard, okay. For some reason I interpret that as, like, the lowest chance. Damn, so it's the opposite to what I've been farming. Fuck. <laughs> I've been ignoring green and going after yellow. Explain more about how to upgrade to stage 3. Uh, yeah, I will. Well, all of these are stage 2, so you have to... I'll show you the levels after. But you basically have to level them to a certain point. Like an accumulative XP level for all of them. To a certain point, and then you're able to fuse. Um, so when I go back to town, you'll be able to see how I can't fuse them. Uh, so I guess if I'm going... Should be fine here. Just in case I don't want to lose this for... Self-rugged on Shanti, I know. I think I got baited because I, you do get a shard every now and then from them. <laughs> Only level 1, but I guess that's still good, right? So here's stage 2. Do I use a tier 3? I guess I do right. This is. I don't really want him to get away. Let's 
especially since I'm going for th uh, like a full air squad. Nice. The stage two and three don't seem too rare. So this is the only thing is, I guess stage, if you can, like this dictates how strong they are. So if this was more full, he'd be way more optimized. So the advantage of catching a lot of stage ones is you can catch a lot of stage ones. Pick the ones that have the best stats. Level those. And then you guarantee yourself a good stats for stage three. But obviously if you catch one stage three that's already got good stats, that saves you a lot of time. Do I have the capture power? But yeah, I do. I have 15% on my drone. So, But I don't know if that's, yeah, how significant that is. Yeah, the stage drink three links is way more common in this private beta. Well, I guess there's so many... That that kind of makes sense, doesn't it? Links being... Because to get stage 3 linkses, you need a lot of linkses. Because there's so many different stage 3 linkses. In PB2, they were way rarer. Yeah, so that's good. So they're obviously using this to experiment. So, you're telling me this is what I want to farm. I'll take it. Already a shard. This looks good. I'll use it. I notice scanning these is pretty weak. Unless I'm guessing unless you upgrade your scanner. Got it. Like I can't. I could I can't end up seeing half the stuff anyway with the scan. I'll take it. Hundred yeah, exactly. This looks good. This is so much energy. I don't even know if this is worth it. Still would recommend to always scan. Yeah, maybe I should have, given how much I just spent. That didn't seem worth it at all. Alright, so I can get one more. Alluvial. Or one more fight encounter. been over here. I'm an idiot. Save your shards for higher level stage two and threes with good stats. Yeah, but the, isn't the problem you can't see the stats until you catch them? Or is there a way to see their stats? <laughs> I've missed it. It's vanished. <laughs> Ran out of energy, so I ended up moving fast. Got it. Some quick maths. I can scan, right? Yeah, should be able to.
Almost not worth catching the shitty stage threes because of the shard rarity to catch them. Yeah. The problem is you don't know if they're. Yeah, you don't. Yeah, so but yeah, like I said, you, you don't know if they're bad to catch them. Gotcha. All right, so I'll just jump into this one. Do you already know if you get a spot in PB4? Uh, no. No. And not even the creators now. I guess there's like Scoriox who obviously get a spot. Um, I'm hoping I'll get a spot as a creator and then I should be able to get... I'm hoping I'll get... Um, like creator giveaways to kind of give spots. So obviously a lot of you guys have been in here pretty frequently that I've, that I've noted down, so... You guys will be getting him if I get some. Um, but a lot of you are active in the community anyway, so you probably get your own. Because I think they are basing him off some kind of analytics of... Uh, I guess there's a certain amount they're giving to people that have played the games a lot, like all three games. I don't know how they're monitoring that, but... So that'll help. And then they're giving a huge chunk to just, I think, random, randomly generated from um, people that applied. I don't really care if I win or lose this, so I'll just be a bit weaker. Let's see how good Enchanter is. Yeah, Enchanter seems quite strong. Tenkei is not that much right. I don't know, it's hard to... You're too much of a waste for space. It's not, but it... I guess it kind of is. It, I don't even know if there'd be... that many, like, active players between Overworld and Arena. Obviously there has been that many players, but... Out of all the super active players, there's not that much. Alright, we don't want any of those. Yeah, I hope the 10k, I hope it's not just flooded with people applying to register. Because they can register and then it comes to it and they're not actually playing the game. Because I know there was a lot that registered. I think there's like <clears throat> a few hundred K, right? That had registered for the closed beta at the moment. Like this, what I'm playing now. But that's over the course of like peak bull run as well, I think. Like over the course of the years. So that few hundred K is a lot. So this should give me more energy, right? Just grab whatever. And I'll get out of here. I'll use it. Got it. Right. I'll jump back into this I'll map, I think. It. Or maybe one of the others actually. And I'll just be right back one minute. And then I'll go see um, if I can fuse anything and then I'll jump into it. And you run. Wait, but I'll be right back. One minute.
All right. Probably be filled with airdrop farmers. Yeah, a hundred percent. But hopefully they're active airdrop farmers at least. If that makes sense. I mean, I guess the goal is to attract airdrop farmers to some degree that are actually gamers, and hope that your game is the best game that they've been farming and they actually stay on. And it is effective. I mean, I've applied for Chrono Forge. That's like the first airdrop. I guess that's the first time I'll be kind of farming an airdrop intentionally, but like I'm a real gamer and if I have fun, I'm definitely staying hang um, hanging around. Not just there, for, as much as I'm there for the, the airdrop farming, I'm also, you know, like high potential to stay around and even buy an NFT. So, I forgot who was asking about the fusing, but you can see I've leveled all these stage 2s to fairly high levels. And then, I'm clicking on the one that I want to upgrade to. You can see this bar here that it, I need 56k combined experience. And I'm only halfway there, so that's a lot that you need. So, that's kind of why people are saying it to some degree... Catching a stage 3 is a lot easier. But I've only ever seen stage 3 Lynxes, so I don't think that's like a viable strategy for a lot of other alluvials. Um, and you can see it kind of combines the hexagon here. So this guy is holding me back a bit. And if this is an NFT that you're trying to fuse, well that will be an NFT, it I wonder how much people will be prioritizing uh, making like the most optimal alluvial as they can. Because not all stage 3 alluvials will be, be equal on the market. But I wonder how much more value people will give to like a really optimized stats. Probably a lot I'm assuming. Especially if you need it for arena to be like that little bit extra competitive or even just as a collector item Abyssal Basin just isn't as exciting is it? Should we go old school? Crimson Waste? Let's do that Did I cure the shards? I'm pretty sure I did Wow, already like... Already felt like I forgot. I think it was just an autopilot. I'm pretty sure I cured them. Yeah, how does the fuse work? Does it combine... Does it take like the average of all the stats or does it kind of pick one? Because if it randomly picks one of them and has their stats, I might not even, wouldn't even fuse that top, that top um, alluvial. One with the terrible stats. Got ya. Wow. <laughs> Just all links is lucky I scanned. Um
Does anyone know what the percent means when you select a zone on the overworld? Uh, I think that percent might be just what I've explored. Gotcha. Scan that one. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the the, the percent was just what I explored. Oh wow, Ember Links. I feel like I have to catch that right. Relentless fight here. Here we go. Ryan in Discord did say that it randomly picks one from the three. And it will do that for all the stats. So the first Kukulus would be a better candidate to make skins. What do you mean make skins? Do you use your alluvials to make skins? See fighter. I think that should be enough. Damn, so I think if I find another Kukulus, I'll definitely catch it. Or maybe I'll just experiment. Maybe I'll just fuse these three, given that it doesn't matter at the moment. Let's see what happens. I think I'll just go tier two, because I'm not really going towards fire, so I don't, if I if I miss this, it's not that big a deal. Oh, so you need blueprints from zero, yep. Fuel and alluvials that you sacrifice. Okay, yeah, so currently on this version, you can't make skins using alluvials, but it will be like that, yeah. So, I mean, that's nice, but pretty bad stats. They patch something in the overall, the game kind of works and looks smooth as for me. I don't know. I Probably. I mean, this is a newer version to the last version I played. But they definitely have, like, um, like, with the last version I played, you didn't climb up walls like this. So they've updated that. So there's probably a bunch of other updates. But I don't know how far back you're referring to. Yeah, those stats. Ooh, a flare. Maybe I'll catch him. Try and catch him. Here we go. Maybe I'll get a fire squad going as well. Have a fire version, a fire squad and an air squad. I did catch a stage one of Scoriox, what's it called? Fiery, I think it's called. And I've got a ramp for you as well. We're all stage one. Wondering why I keep checking this is because I've got to bond it to the empath. These two are both Scion. Uh, yeah, Scion. This guy, a rogue. Yeah, they op also optimise the regions a bunch to make it run smoother. Yeah, I'm guessing they'll 
continue to optimize things. Because that's been a bit of a barrier for some people, hasn't it? And, like, not having... Just not even being able to run the games. Level 3... Wow, level 12. I guess we catch him and hope that he has good stats, right? Use the epic shard. Nope. The next step for overworld battles will be to optimize to have more chances to capture. What do you mean by that? Like more encounters or like a lower failure rate on the shards damn I kind of wanted that Couldn't get it. They just blocked all my shots. That's a fire flout. Interesting. Nature, just scan. If you put less alluvials on the board, you keep more dimensional stability. Yeah. Oh, I see. So, what are they changing it so you can kind of throw more shards and still have a decently strong uh, squad on the board? Yeah, because I find, especially on this stage, like stage um, two and up, stage three and four, whatever the, the two highest difficulty runs, you almost need to put enough down where you only have one shot at catching something. I'm good with that. Where am I up with shards? Don't know if I want to waste it, waste the energy. Yeah, that's the first I've seen of those morphopods. I didn't even realize. Let's have another shot of out of flare. Here we go. I think that's something new for me as well. I didn't think in the last version there was you could shoot like the creatures like that and harvest them. Or you could shoot them but you couldn't harvest them. The dimensional stability is decreased by the number of Yeah. MP mastery points of those levels you try to catch for each captured attempt. Yep. Yeah, I picked up on that as well. So right now, if I want two shots, well, let's try to do it. All right, if I, this is a pretty easy encounter. So flare is usually 45, so as long as I have more than 45, I should have two shots. Unless he runs away.
Yeah, let's do that. Some of us have to work. Have a good stream. Thanks, man. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, uh, Tuesday and Friday is when I stream. So hopefully next Tuesday, if not Friday. About this time. Yeah, so 46 plus would be perfect. Cool. Was he physically? Oh, they're healing. Three percent HP every second. I shall not be defeated. I've noticed sometimes I've lost an encounter and I'm still able to catch something. Was that a bug, or is there like a small chance they don't run away? Is that weird wording? You can capture tier 4 or less alluvials and with a higher chance of capturing tier 5. Why is it a higher... with a higher chance of capturing tier 5? Whereas this one says you can capture tier 3 or less alluvials with a slight chance of holding greater tiers. Because there's a resplendent... there's one that's tier 5 isn't there? Anyway. That's a bug? Yeah. Feels good when it happens though. Yeah, so there's a reverse bug as well, yeah. Bad wording? Nice, yeah. Got him. Attack speed. What is that? Is that attack damage? So not great. Uh, I don't think I care about these guys. I haven't got anything nature. Am I wasting my time? Is there nothing out here? I might as well go over here, right? <sighs> so what I'm wearing now is a Vermilia skin, so it's saying to get that later, I'll have to sacrifice a familiar. Or maybe just the stage one. Will the skins be NFTs? Do you know? Makes sense that they are, I don't know why they wouldn't.
nature. Do I even bother? I guess I'll. Yeah, I guess I'll scan. Follow the glowing plants. Not gonna lie, I didn't even. I didn't even notice, notice any glowy plants. Damn, the alluvials in Overworld are on steroids, yeah. Yeah, it's a bit different to Arena. So is there just nothing here? Just go that way. Out. It's down here. Yeah, if you went to stage 3, they're even more crazy. They have, um, encounter bonuses. Where am I going? Again. But I think once you start to adapt to like how difficult some things are, it's um, it's okay. It's just when it catches you by surprise and you haven't. I was losing way more. Got it. When I first started playing, just because you're experimenting to some degree, how strong your alluvials are compared to theirs. This is terrible. I actually don't have any stage one or tier one shards, so let's not bother with any of that, even though I kind of want those earth units. And we're back, I guess we'll. I also saw, I think it was Aaron, say that they're going to make it more obvious how much experience you gain after a fight or during a stage run. Which I like. Because right now it's kind of hard to see how much experience you're getting without like just manually checking it before and after. Nothing down this way, is there? Check out to my right. Dead end?
Maybe I should have left the teleporter out where those other... Well, I found all those other wisps. Just in case. There might not be any left. Well, even stage two, they have encounter boosts. Modifiers, or whatever you call them. Maybe I should just harvest in mine. And there's nothing. Oh, just as I found one. Can I even be bothered going out there again? Let's do it. God. Right, let's just fight this one over here. Let's get out of here. Tilted after that. That's got me a few times where I've run out of energy and I've tried to slow time and it goes fast once you've run out of energy. Alright, Lynx is... Here we go. How many encounters have you seen? Do you usually see 15 to 8? I've never seen 15 to 8. Well, I don't... At least I feel like I haven't. I've probably seen less... Like 10 at most, I'd say. Five air. Actually, let's not. Just concentrate the experience on these. I'm guessing you only get experience for what's on the board. If I can get my enchanter procs off first before I get new, they deal 45% more damage, 60% attack speed. That was tough actually. It shows how good this enchanter squad is. As soon as I get enchanter procs, it's GG. Especially because I have like four enchanters on the board, including the ranger.
Yeah, so what's played on the board gets XP. Nice, yeah. Makes sense. They got the least chance of shards, but let's just grab what we can. This looks good. So this gives the XP boost. Right? Whatever this I'll take it. The flint cap. So I'm guessing they're always good to get. The XP boost. Let's get out of here. Still so far away. Uh, what did we? Let's just have a look at what we actually caught. Got the flare. Guess with the ramp fee, a mega power is really what you want. It's not a, it's not that great, but like the one study does get. Pretty strong monkey is. Well, let's add this guy in, right? So, attack speed. He's more tanky. Might be able to get to seven air if we need. We didn't get any shards that run. Good monkey troop you have, yeah. I kind of want to build that out. I need a ripe lance for the third berserker. I could get berserker with just the ranger. So abyssal basin is a lot of water, isn't it? It's a lot of water alluvials, a lot of fire in crimson, and a lot of air in bright lands. We'll go bright lands. I don't think abyssal basin is that exciting. I know it'll be different, but. Let's try get some better enchanters. See what else is out here. Yeah, a lot of waters and nature in Abyssal. I guess that would mean there would be the ripe lances out there, wouldn't there? 
I wanted to get a third Berserker. Do you know if Geyser's out there? Can you catch that yet? Or Flood? Gotcha. Guessing they're rare, right? Isn't Flood? Floods are pretty high tier. Pretty much go anywhere. Ooh, another monkey. -er. That'd be my third monkey. -er. Yeah, let's do it. I don't have. I'd have to use a stage two shard. Let's That's right. get started. You go three monkey -er berserker. Earth. You did catch an ebb last night. I've never seen a straight up guys. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be extremely rare, right? Okay, so you can make one though. I was just thinking how to get Mystic. It'd be pretty difficult to get Mystic because I'm pretty sure Flood, Ebb and Flood are both not Mystic. So that's a bit of a mission. This actually looks tough. What have they got? Crit chance, crit chance, additional damage, and dodge chance. This monkey uh, could just destroy everything. But I can spend over my limit. Because I only need one shot. Surely that's strong enough, right? Let's do it. Then luck is low damage, but it's easy win. Oh, way easy. Yeah, Mystic would be tough to build in over. I don't know how to get an Adorius either. I know you only need the Sage 2 Adorius for Mystic, I think. It's only level 1. Feels like a waste using this, but let's do it. Oh wow. That's huge. I'm stoked. Is Adoreno spawn empathy? I think you're right actually. Yeah, no, you're right, yeah. Hundred percent. The stage two monk uh Apon is mystic. But the other mystics you need stage three. Is that about as good as it gets with the stats? Did have you seen someone have like perfect hexagon stats? By the way, is it possible that an alluvial has a hunt? Oh, that's yeah. literally just what I asked as well. I'm guessing Boyo might know. I feel like I've seen, I've maybe seen that in the Discord. This looks good.
I want to say yes. It's just extremely rare. Gotcha. Yeah, a few perfect stats in Discord. I think he was the was on the perfect alluvial hunt for a bit. Yeah, getting a perfect stage three would be insane. Perfect stage three ramp fire. Like that's got to be the like if it's, if it's anything that's going to be the most expensive. Or oh, hollow as well, right? Wow, this is weird. So many encounters. You just wonder how much that'll sell for, because... What's the highest, um... A Luvita that sold. I know I saw one for like 50-60k that actually sold. Oh, what would that fire unit be? Is there a fire unit that's rare that drops here? Just mark it and come back to it. Yeah, but I just think if a if a um an Alubitar sold for that much. It's gonna be insane to think what the actual alluvials will sell for. So it's either gonna be flare, fiery or ramphy. Okay, well I'll go back to that. Slapping would be cool, but I'm too far away from anything water or frost. Let's get started. Probs be a lot of people in the marketplace who don't know about stats and sell them for the same price as current lowest level. A current lowest. Yeah, there probably would be people sniping the marketplace, right? That's just going to play the market marketplace. It's going to be a tough decision to like when and if that time comes. If you catch something that's worth. I don't know, that something's willing to pay like a grand or two or even way more. But you love the IP and you want to collect yourself. Like, do you sell or do you hold? For some people, it's not a big decision, but... For a lot of people, that's a, a, that could be a lot of money. What have I got? Dodge, crit amp, pure damage, additional, additional health. <clears throat> I don't think I want to risk too much. And I don't think I can snipe out the gorilla if I place here. have a favourite alluvial. I don't know, what's your guys' favourite alluvial? I think it's probably like the Rake Umbra line. But I really like Monk Monkia. 
Um, yeah, I'd have to say between Umbra, Monkia. For some reason, I really I like Lotto, the Wildfire tank. But I think I like the the koala that's come that's to come the jump bear dry drop bear level five tier four oh, I don't even my last tier four or oh, whatever let's do it polar bear line for you yeah the penguin the slapping, yeah, I could see that for sure. Especially because at some point he's going to get a buff. Oh, got him. Yeah, Hollow, Blazy, Blazing Ramfire got sold for 92k. Really. And another one for 50k. Yeah. I mean, what's that going to do for marketing? Like the minute something, like people start hearing that you can catch these alluvials, you could pay five bucks to enter this. That's pretty good stats. It's actually really good stats. I don't really need. He doesn't use the mega power attack speed. That's like almost perfect for a flare. Yeah, so like. Like you can catch assets in a game that sell for that much. I always think how much stuff would sell on WoW if it was legal. Oh, you've got a perfect Ripter. I feel like um, Ripter is an alluvial that you'd want perfect stats for, because he kind of uses everything. He needs the tanky stats, he needs the damage, mega power, attack speed, attack uh, damage. Yeah, Narl actually looks dope. Narl and um, the guy I was referring to, the Blotto. Probably over here, hey? Reminds you of Flash at Zootopia. I got no idea what that is. It's crazy how unique all the alluvials are too. Like, I don't think they've been accused of, like... Like, you'd think people... They're so unique that people even haven't really, like, accused them of copying Pokemon or anything. Or any other IP. Which is pretty impressive. Given that most games, like, um, can't say the same thing.
usually a bunch over here. Everything was so concentrated in the center. I don't know if you're still there, Boyo, but do you, is there an easy way to explain where that eye is? I've never actually seen it. Is it west, north, east, or south? May as well grab this. I'll use it. Southeast started the op started the ob well, I can't even speak obelisk southwest like here or kind of imagine it's probably quite across where the pink route is. A lot of pink roots. <laughs> let me go over here first, and then I'll... you let me know how close I was with that um, the marker. Gotcha. Pretty good guess. Cool. I'll go around that way and explore. This area is kind of cool. Got it. Oh, it's right where I was looking. Okay, you meant. Okay. <laughs> Give me two secs. Oh, so it's kind of over here. Let me just suss these wisps out and then I'll... Got ya. So he's saying, if I start from back up there, I should be able to... Have to go down. Like in there somewhere? That's where I just was. Oh, 
Oh, that's cool. It tells you what it, what they are. If you scan them. Follow the cliffs in front of you. Like down there, or...? Yes, down there. Follow the big pink route. Like, right down there? Fuck, this is probably so frustrating <laughs> from your point of view. So there's the big pink route. I'm guessing you probably weren't referring to that since I was... bit more to the south, like in through there. Not on that side, is it? So when you say big pink root, I'm thinking of this one. <gasps> Down the map, follow the cliffs by the pink root towards your marker beacon. So I'm going south, and I'm following the route towards my marker, marker beacon. Right there to the left, there's an entrance. Hey, we did it. about the worst way to try to try get instructions via via text and with the de uh, delay so what the fuck is it is it it's not the leviathan is it it's part of the root system it's like a living root system creepy as Paz's challenge is 
make your way here. Is it touch one of these or something? Not that one. Some of these encounter bonuses are just crazy. Yeah, I know. Especially when there's like pure damage plus attack speed. That's why I'm liking the Enchanter Air, because they're as good at stopping their first Omega and then it also gives you that dodge chance. It does feel like the ground, yeah, you hear certain sounds and the ground shakes. Yeah, what do you got? Like a kraken? Like a plant kraken? Maybe they end up battling. This weird octopus thing. Versus leviathan. I don't know, maybe I just fought some of these encounters to get some experience. Uh, actually, I'll explore down here, may as well. What were these? Slapping would be cool. But I'm just so far away from ever like evolving it or anything. This looks good. I really should get in that bubble, shouldn't I? to try to get up there. Huh. 
So that didn't cost any energy, by the looks of it. I don't think there's anything up here. I'll use it. Up to scan for sure. The morphopods don't cost anything right now, yeah. Well, that's cool. I like that they're adding small things like that. Sliding all the way down one of these, yeah, I know. I saw someone do uh, like the longest slide attempt. I don't think I'm gonna really see too many more encounters that I can scan. Do you reckon scan is a good option? Let's have a look. See what I mean? It kind of shows... It didn't really give me any information. Guess when I upgrade the scanner it will. Got it. Um... 90... yeah, should have enough for an encounter. It's weird, but nothing again. slide. It's weird. I'm going to be terrible at this. I've had way too much coffee in my... not used to the sensitivity on the mouse. See how long I could slide. Is there a way to like make this go to keep momentum? Uh oh. <laughs> I don't know if that's the best one to do. Oh, can I live? Nice. <laughs> Alright. That's actually kind of fun. 
Alright, let's just go fight something down here. Uh, you can turn on and off the icons on the map by clicking the let- oh, right. Well, you know how many slots have stuff now, that's... Uh, so... So let's just teleport beacon and Bergen Rifts then. Nice. Oh, that's way cleaner. Fuck it, I'll just catch the slap in, right? I'll try. I think you can go down that one. Let's get the penguin, eh? Here we go. Apparently, I say penguin weird. I don't, I've never known how to say it. Penguin, ping, penguin. Then you have to go to bed, yeah. I mean, not many... I'll see, I don't know if I have enough for another run. I think I've got one more, one more to do. See, road. Right, let's just nuke the front line. the best bonuses. Ooh, level 9. <clears throat> so here's tier 3. Perfect. I mean, it's all tank stats. It's not bad, right? But I think attack damage and attack speed would be ideal. I guess if you're building this frost, it could be like a tanky frost vanguard. Frost vanguard's kind of tank composites, right? It's not bad. Yeah, I know, I'm going to have to do some mining run soon. Well, I kind of, I guess I do that off stream. It's not as exciting. Yeah, that's good, right? Half perfect. They're not bad stats. Just have him as a bit of a tank in the back line.
Yeah, actually, I'm just struggling with tier one shards, aren't I? See if I can't get a shard before I'll I leave. This looks good. Thanks for tuning in, Boyo, and thanks for all the advice as well. Um, where are we? Oh, screw it. Just grab this. I'll use it. Did you know if you... if we will need to have some lands to play the next beta. No, definitely not. Definitely not. I don't even know how much land... I think playing Zero might help to get into the beta. Like having spent time playing Luvium Zero. Maybe owning land, but I, no, definitely not. Let's see what we got. Got a couple flares for Monkey Squad. Wow, they all have really good stats. Level 9, 1, 2. Pretty good slapping. Got a really good Scarabot. Basically perfect, except they're mega power. Level 16, 17, 23. <laughs> Never tried zero open world. Yeah, I think you'd have a good chance. Like, I think that will help. Not sure exactly how they're doing it, but they've said active players will be have a high chance. What rank were you sitting around in arena? I'm trying to think what I'd want again. Let's just try. We'll go. Go up as a base. Uh, same place. Kind of just speed through this. We'll get um, I'll grab shards on the way. A bit of shard farming.
chuck my teleporter up the top here and then I'll jump down there. If I can make it. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's grab him because then I'll have three, three of them. Here we go. Level two. It's all right. Definitely need a T three shard for that. I'm assuming it's harder if they're a stage two to catch them. So I have two more of those already, and I think I wouldn't even use them to evolve if I ever level them up, which I probably won't. Got Surely it. I get some shards. Nice common shard. I'll take it. Another one. This looks good. I'll use it. Sweet, three shards. <gasps> Got it. This looks good.
What do we got here? Nothing. We don't want those. Another slap in? No. I'll use it. Quality am I playing on? Is it good, is it? Or quality... No, I'm not. Let's go to Epic and see. Yeah, that was only medium. Hopefully it doesn't make it too laggy. Doesn't really seem too much different. Does it look high quality? It's hard to tell. Get the shit out of me, the drone. I think that is a little bit better quality. Well, that's good to hear that it's high quality, but like from a viewing point of view, it's not like any more laggy, is it? Now that I'm on. Zero lag, nice. Um, let's go. Just over there, right? Let's 
Get rid of that bubble. Cave, nothing here. That does actually seem a little bit high quality. Not that I even that made it even higher. I have no idea what this is. Do you know what DLSS sharpness is? Balance quality performance. I think balance is always good. be something here. Where's this taking me? Oh, right up there. Good a view it is, I'd be nice if these things moved a bit faster. Yeah, I feel like I can see more detail further distance. I feel like this hot spot over this side has been just baited me, stopping over here. Yeah, this encounter, nothing, nothing.
To the left over here, maybe. Probably not shit over there either, is there? Explore here and then I'll just jump back to the those other encounters if I have to. Get some experience. Well, There's a weird amount of like lacking of uh, encounters this run. Unless I'm missing something. experience, I guess. I'll take it. So there's just up there that I surely have explored. Maybe I haven't. Oh. 
Okay. Don't know how I miss these. Gotcha. Definitely scared. So fire should have something interesting. Played opposite. One down there, how did I miss that? Where is it? Nothing great either. Got ya. You might just jump into this regardless. Yeah. Let's get started. I'll use the rest of the harvest. Of it as a surprise. Nothing even there in an air encounter. Concentrate the experience on these three again. I'm gonna try. I'll see if I can fuse these three alluvials. I think I'd still. I'm still way off, but we'll see how close we are. I'll use it. Got it. Take it. I don't think there's any Ergon Rifts nearby. <laughs> no, let's just get out of here. It's good progress today. I think we'll see how close I am to fusing. Get Tempest. Eighteen, sixteen, twenty-three. Wow. So basically you gotta to get to like level forty with all of them. Almost. 
so far away. Same with these guys. And his terrible stats, they're all not great. Could almost fuse those. What about the monkey? Yeah, these are all really good stats. Alright. Just check our equipment and then we'll finish up. Nice. Five. We can make some advanced equipment. Harvesting we don't care about, heat map don't really care about either. Mining power, not really. Don't really need an extra alluvial slots. Capture power is the one we want. Oh, so I just need whatever this is. Nice. Alright, well thanks for tuning in guys. I'll be... Trying to do this every Tuesday and Friday.